I mean, they just feel like, you know, hey, we got our boy, you know, in office and we can just, you know, we can say the N word out loud. We can walk around. That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? He gave everybody who is already, who was already um, a bigot or racist or xenophobic. I think that he gave them permission to become it out loud and in public. So whereas now there used to be in some sense a very covert type of uh, racism. And now you have a very overt type of racism where you have um, I mean, I, you, you, so much is happening. I mean, it's like when he, I remember when he first got elected, they had people, you know, they had white people just going into grocery stores, shooting black people and saying they were shooting them because they were black. You have the an uprising of all of these different um, white supremacist groups. I mean, it's just like, we are literally like living in times that are, you know, way back in the 50s and 60s and it's terrible why do you think that um having this president has a allowed people to come out the quote-unquote closet to create so much conflict to create so much chaos why, why do you think that just this one man has solidified or, or given you know, given the, the the green light or red light whatever what green light yeah to, to <laughs> i think it's because he exhibits all of those character traits and according to his followers you know he's the top dog you know he's the man in charge so he's going to side with them in all of these uh racial issues as we can see already he's siding with um the, the white supremacist groups he's tweeting uh videos of people saying white power and um i mean they just feel like you know hey we got our boy you know, in office and we can just, you know, we can say the N word out loud. We can walk around heavily armed and and oppose the Black Lives Matter and call them, in fact, the Black Lives Matter is considered to be a terrorist organization. And it uh, kind of reminds me of like when the Black Panthers, you know, came up, it was like any type of organization that Black people collectively put together and is successful um, in creating some type of positive social change, then it is considered to be a terrorist organization. That has not changed. That is one thing that hasn't changed in this country. And I think that the Black Lives Matter movement um, is here to stay. And I think that it is gonna be that movement um, is going to be the the vehicle that actually got us started with racial equality. Ah! <laughs>